Contrary to Campus Center actually has more than just the candy counter. There's two kinds of events you'll be doing here. The first will be in Little Theater. The other will be in Trinkle Hall up above. But what those two events have in common is that both will start right here with the closet. Don't be discouraged by the mere fact that this closet is smaller, darker, and scarier than the one at Adler Center. It's still got all the equipment you'll need to run a top-notch event. Let's start off our tour of Campus Center by showing you how to set up a beacon in Little Theater. This is an apt pairing, because while both of those objects are, shall we say, diminutive, that doesn't stop them from providing a great experience. The beacon is a pretty straightforward piece of equipment, and the first step, as with most things, is going to be to plug it in. Pull its power cable out of the pouch on the back, plug it into the outlet, and plug it into the machine. While the system is still off, let's unpack the speaker. Undo those two clasps, grasp the handle firmly, and lift it out. It'll snap into position, and then you simply rotate it and plop it back in the machine. Now let's re-engage the clasps. Whoa, 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 Jordan, stop. It's off, right? All right, let's do this then. And uh, it was on. Jordan, that was on. God damn it. Alright, so, um, yeah, that was, uh, don't, don't, uh, don't touch those metal things while it's on. Yeah, see, Jesse gets it. Yeah, I'll always make sure it's off, uh, otherwise those will, uh, those will shock you. Yeah, but see, since it's off, Jesse is fine. Let's, um, let's just keep moving here. You ready to go, Jesse? Cool. The beacon is pretty flexible. And part of that flexibility comes from the wireless mics we store in this pouch on the side. All you gotta do to use them is pull them out and turn them on. Do try not to use them too close to the front of the speaker though, because that'll give you some pretty nasty interference. Now let's move on to the controls. It's all pretty straightforward. The knobs and the inputs are all labeled. Just plug stuff in and have fun. With Little Theater done, it's time to move on to Bigger Fish. Much, much bigger fish. So, here we are in Trinkle, and that is the Mackie. The Mackie is like the Beacon's big brother. Larger speakers, larger mixer, just more power in general. So to set it up, let's start by getting those speakers in place. There's two tripods, and you need to deploy both of them, usually to the left and the right of your presenter. With the tripods deployed, let's put the speakers on them. They're pretty heavy, so brace yourself for it. All you gotta do is plop them on top. It may not look it, but that's actually pretty stable. Now let's connect the speakers to the mixer. You're gonna need a really long quarter inch cable for this. But plug it into the output on the back of the mixer, and into the input on the left speaker. Now connect a second long quarter inch cable to the throughput on the left speaker and bring that all the way on over to the right speaker. Once that's plugged in, your speakers are good to go. Now head back to the mixer and plug the cart itself into a power source. With the cart successfully providing power, hook the Mackie system into that power strip on the right side of the cart and everything should be good to go. The only thing left now is to put your inputs in. Inputs go on the front where you'd expect, and the volume controls are there as well. You now know how to use the Mackie.